Python tutorial trainer ratio performance metric. Portfolio performance metrics consist of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Trainer ratio consists of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of systematic market risk. For full reference, I recommend that you read Jack Trainer: How to Rate Management Investment Funds published by Harvard Business Review in 1965. As a formula, we have the ex ante or expected portfolio returns trainer ratio, which is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the expected risk premium, risk premium as the difference between portfolio returns minus the risk rate of return, which is then divided by the expected portfolio market beta. And then we have the ex post or realized portfolio returns trainer ratio, which is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus the risk rate return mean, and that result divided by the portfolio market beta. The portfolio market beta in turn is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the covariance between portfolio returns and market returns, which is then divided by the variance of the market returns. Within this video tutorial, we'll only be studying the ex post or realized trainer ratio. If the risk free rate of return is not constant through time, then the portfolio returns trainer ratio is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus the risk free rate of return mean, and that result divided by the portfolio market beta. Because of having a non-constant risk-free rate return through, through time, then the portfolio market beta is equal to, and then within the numerator, we have the covariance between the risk premium and the market risk premium. Risk premium as the difference between portfolio returns minus the risk-free rate return, and the market risk premium as the difference between the market returns minus the risk-free rate return. That result then divided by the variance of the market risk premium market risk premium as the difference between the market returns minus the risk-free rate of return. On the other hand, if the risk-free rate of return is constant through time, then the portfolio returns trainer ratio is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus that constant risk-free rate of return, and that result divided by the portfolio market beta. In this case, the portfolio market beta calculated using the formula from previous slide. And last, if for simplicity purposes we assume a 0% risk-free rate, then the portfolio returns trainer ratio is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean divided by the portfolio market beta. Again, this portfolio market beta calculated using the formula from previous slide. Great. So let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study trainer ratio with greater detail. Perfect. So we are within Python PyCharm IDE. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial trainer ratio performance metric code file. So the first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import numpy SMP and then pandas PD. The following step is to create trainer ratio performance metric data. For this, we're going to create an object named returns, which is equal to PD or pandas dot read underscore CSV, and within it we have the path to the data file found within data directory and the corresponding name, trainer ratio performance metric data. This data directory and this is a corresponding data file. Notice that this is a plain text file with dot CSV or comma separated values, comma index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and look at that data file. So we double click on the file, and as we can see here, we have a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values. We have three columns of data. First of these dates, dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data. 
And then we have SPY column. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. And here we have its adjusted close prices, adjusted close prices, which were adjusted for dividends and splits, and their corresponding monthly arithmetic returns. So the second column is SPY adjusted close prices, monthly arithmetic returns. And then last, at the third column, we have MKT. MKT corresponds to the market portfolio, and again, we have the corresponding monthly arithmetic returns, in this case, for that market portfolio. So back to the code file. Once we've read the data and created the returns object, we can continue with the calculation of trainer ratio performance metric. So we're going to directly first print the title, which is trainer ratio performance metric. We're going to calculate it for SPY, corresponding monthly arithmetic returns. We're going to then print a blank space. And as we can see, we're going to print the title, which is we're calculating a monthly trainer ratio for SPY monthly arithmetic returns. And for simplicity purposes, we're going to assume a 50% risk-free rate. So this calculation is going to be done with NumPy rounded for six decimal places, as we can see, and the calculation as follows. Within the numerator, from returns object, we select its SPY column and we calculate its arithmetic mean with the mean and we open and close parentheses. And then we're going to divide that result and we need to calculate the corresponding portfolio market beta. And we do so here within parentheses. And first we have within the numerator returns.cob, that's the covariance, we open and close parentheses. So in this case, we're going to calculate the covariance between those two columns, the covariance between SP1 SPY and MKT columns. And notice here that we do dot ILOC or integer location and within brackets we have 0, 0,1. So the reason we need to do that is because this dot COV calculates a covariance matrix. And from that covariance matrix, we want to select a specific position, which with Python notation, first we have zero, zero is the one related to the row. And with Python notation, that's the first row. And this one is, is the one selecting the position regarding the columns. With Python notation, that's the second column. So with this, we are selecting the first row second column. That's the position from the covariance matrix that we are selecting for the numerator. And that result, we are then dividing it by returns. And in this case, we're selecting within brackets the column with MKT or the market portfolio monthly arithmetic returns dot BAR. So we're calculating their variance, open and close parentheses. Excellent. So let's go ahead and run this code file. When you're doing it for the first at any part of the code, you click the right button on the mouse and scroll down into the code file name to run it. But as I've done it before recording this video tutorial, its name is already stored here. So we can see Python tutorial, trainer ratio performance metric. So we just go ahead, select it and click run. Perfect. So we see here that it opened the running console. We see the printing of trainer ratio performance metric for SPY, monthly arithmetic returns, and we have a calculation of that monthly trainer ratio for SPY, monthly arithmetic returns, assuming 0% risk-free rate for simplicity purposes, and the corresponding result of that calculation. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying how to calculate trainer ratio performance metric, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.